Hey guys, welcome to another DBMS tutorial. Today we'll be learning about entity and entity types. So let's get started. First thing, what are we going to cover in today's tutorial? First, we'll look at what is an entity. Then we'll look at what is an entity type. Third, we'll look at what is an entity set. So let's get started. What is an entity? Entities are the real world objects or a thing in real world which have their independent existence. Alright. Now the independent existence can be either physical existence or conceptual existence. For example, let's say there is a student. Okay. Now student has its own independent existence, either her or his, but it is a physical existence. Whereas let's say there is a company on the internet. Now that company may not have a physical office, but it has a conceptual existence. So remember, an entity is a real world object that has its own independent existence, either physical existence or conceptual existence. Now that brings us to what is an entity type. So now you know what is an entity. What about entity type? Okay. So usually a database contains a group of entities that are similar. Let's say for example, company has lots of employees and the employee information is usually similar. So if a company wants to store all the information, it is usually the similar information that the company has to store related to those employees. Okay. Now these employee entities share the same attributes, but each entity has its own value. Okay. So every entity will have its own attribute values, but essentially the attributes are same. Okay. So an entity type defines a collection or a set of entities that have the same attributes. Okay. And each entity type in the database is described by its name and its attribute. Let's say we have an example over here. There is a company. In this company, we have got different, different employees. Okay. So his name is Raju. His age is 25. His salary is 25,000. All right. Her name is Ariel. Her age is 28. Her salary is 29,000. His name is Jeet. His age is 24 and his salary is around 22,000. So all these people, they have got these respective attributes okay but they are the common attributes as you can see each employee will have a name each employee will have age and each employee will have a salary so they are essentially having some common attributes hence they can be categorized into one type that is an entity type employee okay so this is what you mean by an entity type now what about entity set the collection of all entities of a particular entity type in the database at any point in time is called entity set. Okay. So the entity set is usually referred to the same name as entity type. So don't get confused between entity set and entity type. It is essentially the same thing. So next thing is an example. We look at an example of entity type and entity set. Now entity type name has to be specified always for an entity type. Okay. So over here entity type name is employee. The name and the age and salary are the three attributes that are common among the employees. Okay. And an entity set is the visual representation or the values at that moment. Okay. So E1, that is entity one, has these three employees Raju, 25, 25,000. All right. So entity set is basically, as we have seen, the collection of all entities of a particular entity type at any point in time. Okay. So we are in entity set. We will see all the values of each attribute at any point of time. Now the next thing is representation of entity type. How do you represent entity type? An entity type is represented in an ER diagram with a rectangular box enclosing entity type name. So if you see an ER diagram and there is an entity representing in a box, never say it's an entity. It is actually an entity type. Okay, because we don't represent entities in ER diagram. We represent the entity types. Similarly, attribute names are enclosed in oval and are connected with the entity type so that we represent the entities and their respective attributes. They are connected with a straight line. Now, what are comp composite attributes? There are two types of attributes, composite attributes and multivalued attributes. Composite attributes means the one that have more than one components in them. Okay, and multivalued attributes means attributes that has more than one values in it. All right. So we'll look at an example and we'll see how these different, different attributes are represented in an ER diagram. So let's say over here, so first we are representing an entity type car with a rectangle and 
we are writing the entity type name car in it. All right. Then we have got our attributes: vehicle ID, then registration, year, and color. Now, as you can see over here, vehicle ID is a unique attribute. All right. So every vehicle will have a unique attribute. Similarly, the registration number is also unique. Hence, what we do in the in terms of representation, vehicle ID is underlined because it's a unique key attribute. Similarly, registration is also a key attribute, but since it is a composite attribute. Now, what do you mean by composite attributes? The registration number is made up of two things: the state and the number. Hence, it is again divided, and the extra two attributes are shown. Connected to this attribute, and what about multi-valued attributes? Let's say a car has more than one color, so hence we represent a multi-valued attribute in double oval. That is oval enclosed in an oval. All right. So this is the representation of entity type. Now what about key attributes in entity type? A key attribute is basically an attribute that can be used to differentiate between different different entities. All right. An important constraint of entities of entity type is uniqueness constraints or the key of the attributes. All right. So every attribute that can help us uniquely identify that entity is called an key attribute. Let that be a single value attribute or let that be a composite attribute. So remember, there are two types of attributes. Either it's a composite attribute or multi-value attribute or single value attribute. So either it can be a single valued key attribute or composite attribute or it can be a multi valued attribute also so this is the meaning of key attribute it helps you in recognizing an entity or differentiating one entity from the other so its value is unique so essentially this is what entity and entity types are if you have any doubt any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below thank you very much so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you have any suggestions please write them in the comment section below if you like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much